everybody! It's time for Playdate! Welcome back! This month, it's all about music video! Woo! I hope you like music. We have a lot of musical art and some music to listen to coming up. First, I want to show you a painting from the Milwaukee Art Museum's collection that I really like because it's all about music. Ready? This is a watercolor painting by a French artist named Raoul Dufy called Mexican Orchestra at Guaymas. Look at all the musicians in the painting. How many are there? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Some of the musicians are wearing colorful clothing. All of them are wearing hats. What instruments are they playing? In the upper right corner, I see two guitars. A guitar is a string instrument. It sounds like this. Next to the guitars in the center of the painting, it looks like a musician is playing a clarinet. A clarinet is a woodwind instrument, which means you blow into it to make sounds with air. A clarinet sounds like this. There's another woodwind instrument to the left of the clarinet. It's a saxophone. Here's what a saxophone sounds like. Next to the saxophone is a trumpet. That's a brass instrument, which means it uses air like a woodwind, but it also uses the vibration of the musician's lips. A trumpet sounds like this. Look at the musician in front of the trumpet and the saxophone. This musician is holding something in each hand and standing behind a large instrument. This might be a rhythm instrument like a marimba, which is used often in Mexican music. Here's what a marimba sounds like. Look at the two violins in the lower left corner. Violins are string instruments like the guitar, but musicians make sounds on the violin using a tool called a bow. Listen to what a violin sounds like. Our last instrument in the lower right is a drum. This musician is playing a drum by hitting the top of it with drumsticks. This type of drum is called a snare. Here's what a snare drum sounds like. Look back at the very top of the painting. See that large drum that looks like it's on its side? That's a bass drum. You hit the sides of a bass drum with large mallets. I think I see a mallet next to the bass drum, though I don't see a musician. Maybe that musician's taking a break. Listen to what a bass drum sounds like. Wow, that was a lot of instruments. Thanks for joining me on this look at Mexican Orchestra at Guaymas. Did you like seeing all those instruments in the Mexican Orchestra? I love all the colors in that one. It's almost like you can hear music when you look at it. Now let's hear some music for real. We have two special guests this month, Randy and Molly, and they're gonna introduce us to a lot of Irish instruments. All of these instruments are new to me too, so I can't wait to learn. And it's March, so if you're watching this when we're premiering, in a few days it'll be St. Patrick's Day. So you can learn about Irish music and then you can listen to some Irish music just in time to celebrate. Let's go meet up with Randy and Molly. Hi folks, my name is Randy Gosa and this is Molly Noyes. Hi everyone. And we play Irish music on a variety of instruments. Uh, we thought we would share a few of them with you today. So we'll start off with this one, which is the Irish tenor banjo. Um, it's a smaller four string banjo, so a little smaller than you might be used to seeing, and it only has four strings instead of five. And this one sounds like this. So that's the tenor banjo. And this one over here is called the bazooki. You want to try saying that? Bazooki. And it's kind of like um, a really big mandolin, if you've ever seen a mandolin before. So this one sounds like this. And now Molly is going to share a few of her instruments with you. 
Hi everyone, I have three instruments, um, all woodwinds. So I'm going to start out with the Irish whistle, or sometimes you'll hear it called penny whistle or tin whistle. Inexpensive instrument, it's a great instrument if you're interested in learning Irish music. Here's what this one sounds like. And then next up I have the flute, which is kind of in some ways a big whistle. Um, so this one here is made out of wood. This is African black wood. So sometimes people say it looks kind of like a clarinet. Um, it would be more closely related to like a, a silver flute if you've seen one of those. <laughs> This instrument is called the Illin Pipes. Illin is an Irish word for elbow. Um, so you use the elbows when you play these. Um, they're a little bit quieter than the Scottish pipes. If you've seen those out in parades, they can be really loud, might make you want to plug your ears. Um, but these ones are a little bit more um, friendly for an indoor setting. <laughs> instruments so neat. I didn't really know about any of those before. Thanks Randy and Molly for showing them to us. All right, I know you're ready to make something and we're actually going to make our own instruments. This may look like a regular snack box, but I've transformed it into a little guitar. Listen. Can you hear that? It's not quite like Randy's banjo, but it's something that we can make at home. All you need is a box, and you can see I use like a cardboard snack box. You need two pencils, and you need a couple of rubber bands. One thing that'll make it easier, I have a tissue box. This kind of tissue box already has a hole in it. I just took out the plastic part, but if you don't have a box like that, you can use a box like this one. Again, this is like a cracker box. You could use a cereal box, or anything like that, and you just need your adult to help you cut a hole in the middle. And I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so once you found your box, make sure it's empty. You're gonna grab a couple of rubber bands. I have these, and you wanna make sure they're big enough to stretch over it without breaking or getting pulled too taut. So I'm gonna take this one, it's nice and big, and I'm gonna loop it over the short way like this. And I have one more. I'm gonna put it on the other side. There you go, there are my two rubber bands. It seems like this could work, but if we listen, it doesn't really make a nice guitar sound. So what you need to do is add a couple pencils. I have pencils, you can use pens or markers or anything that'll hold the rubber bands a little bit up and away from the box. So I just put them to either side of the hole like this. See how now the rubber band is kind of pulled away from the edge of the box? Let's listen to it now. Ooh, that's nice. My rubber band got a little twisted. I'm going to try untwisting it and try it again. Ooh, that makes a nice sound. And you can try pulling the rubber band in to make it a little looser in the middle. The sound changes. Or if you pull it so it's more tight going out, that'll change the sound too. you have it all set up you can also decorate your box however you like using markers or colored pencils or if you have stickers or tape you can decorate your guitar and play it cool huh all right let's meet up with randy and molly again now they're going to play a song for us now that we know all about our instruments and if you made a guitar you can play along all right hi randy hi molly all right, and now I think we will play a set of tunes for you. Uh, we'll feature the tenor banjo and the illin pipes 
um, with a set of jigs. So enjoy, clap along at home. that I'd like to show you how to make. This one is like a kazoo. You might have played with a kazoo made of plastic. Here's one that I made out of a paper tube. This one is from a toilet paper roll. I put a piece of wax paper over it and I needed a rubber band again to seal it up. So let's see how it sounds. If you listen carefully, you can hear the wax paper making a little vibration sound. Sometimes it takes a little practice to get it just right. Let's try it again. I'm just singing. I'm going do, 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 do. But in my kazoo, it makes a cool sound. Want to learn how to make it? Okay, I have another paper tube. This one's from a paper towel roll, so it's a little longer. And I have some wax paper. Ask an adult to help you with this. And... I have some scissors and I have a pen. You can use a pen or you could use one of those pencils from before. We just need to poke a hole. So first I'm gonna just tear off a little piece of wax paper. It just needs to be enough to cover the end like this. So you don't need a really big piece. And again, adults should help you with this part. So I ripped off that much and that's actually more than I need. So I'm gonna cut that in half. Okay, and once you have your wax paper, you just take your rubber band 
We're going to put the wax paper over one end, make sure it's totally covered up. And then I'm just going to secure it from a round. This one went around two times. So see, it's nice and secure there. And then we need to poke a hole. And the reason is when I blow into the tube, because this side is all blocked off by the wax paper, the air needs somewhere to go. So, and again, your adult should help you with this part. I have a pen with a sharp point, or you can use a pencil, or if you have another pointy kind of tool, you can use that. And I'm just gonna carefully poke my pen in and get a nice hole. There we go. So now the air can come out here when I'm blowing in. Okay, and that's it. Let's try it. <laughs> You can try like I did to make high sounds or low sounds. And when I put my mouth on this end, I'm totally sealing it up. Can you see that? If you like, you can try poking multiple holes and try covering them up almost like that wooden flute that Molly played and see if it makes different sounds. Making different instruments like these helps kids that are little to understand how things are put together. If your kids are on the older end, you can talk about the science of things like vibration of the rubber bands or of the wax paper. You can talk about different notes, high or low, slow or fast. And these can help with things like keeping rhythm. If you play a song together and you can sing, that's another great way to connect and learn. And these are just great ways to explore. Playing with musical instruments, even really basic ones like these, can help kids to learn to express themselves, be creative, and have fun. Thanks for joining me for Playdate. I hope you had fun listening to and making music. See you next month.